Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever video on this channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I repaint my dolls. So I'll start by picking a doll base, which I chose a Laguna Fire doll. I started by choosing an eye shape, which I really struggle with, especially on Laguna dolls for some reason. After I picked an eye shape that I like, I then add some blushing to her cheeks, upper forehead, lips, and nose. Now I'm just removing the excess blush that got into her eyes. This will help you on later which is going to be on the second layer. After that, I used a white pencil to brighten up the eye whites, as well as the inner corner of the eyes. I then tried to enhance her nose by using some red pastels mixed with purple. Now I'm going back, just as I did on the first layer. Using a black pencil, I draw on the upper eye line. I did really struggle with her eye line, just because the eyes on the stall are more defined than usual. Just drawing on the waterline with a pink pencil. Doing the eyeshadow on dolls is really tricky, so take your time and go slow.
later you'll see the eye circles without me showing the process, but I used a dark green on the outer line and a light one on the inside. Now by using black pastels, I shade the eyes. This is why you need to clean them before, so that the white will show through even after shading them. After adding blush to her face, I went back to the eyes, but I did change the outer line to a more natural green rather than the bright one I used before. I then went ahead and added some lower eyelashes. You really don't have to be perfect at it, just try to make them as small as you can. For the freckles, I just lifted the pigment from a pencil with a small brush and added tiny dots all over her cheeks. Now you just need to remove the excess with your finger. This technique always works and it also makes the face feel more alive. pupils were really simple, I just made a line down the center of the eye to imitate reptile's eyes. Using a white pencil, I made the eyes look brighter for the next step. Using white acrylic paint, I highlight the corner of the eyes and the eye circles. This method is really hard, so take your time and go slow.
For the waterline, I first use a dark pink, but later I'll use a bright one to make the eyes pop even more. Using pastels, I plan where I want the eyebrows to start. Now this step is even harder than highlighting the eyes, so bear with me. By lifting the pigment from a black pencil, I draw on hair like strokes with a small brush. If you don't know how brow hair grows, then I would suggest pulling some pictures online to get an idea on how they're supposed to look like. This technique takes a lot of patience, so don't rush it, otherwise you'll end up with something like this. Shading will help the brows and will make them look fuller. Although, I don't really suggest using them on the start of the brows. Now by using a light blue pencil, I draw on some fades, which are pretty simple, but make the face up even more realistic. Now I'm just adding on some finishing touches and the face up is finished. I really do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it. And if you have any ideas on what I should do next, then be sure to let me know down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you another time.